Welcome, in today's video we'll be going over how I make my igniters. Igniters are designed to generate the initial heat required to ignite the fuel and start combustion. One of the simplest ways to place an igniter is inserting it through the rocket nozzle. The main body of the igniter is made out of a boba tea straw. I cut the straw so I can get an inch and a half segment. For the igniter, I use a firework clip-on fuse. This does need to get cut down a bit to fit into the straw. I start by slipping off the rubber band and then removing the top plate. The small wire in there is the heating element. This is a good time to check the cable's resistance to ensure it's not damaged. The back and sides must be clipped to help it fit into the straw. Please consider subscribing if you like this content. Here's how the igniter looks once it's cut to size. Now it's time to hot glue it into the straw. I start by gluing in the end of the wire. Once that glue is hardened, I add more to plug the one side so no igniter powder escapes. Now it's time to create the fuel. First I start by measuring out the ammonium perchlorate. The ammonium perchlorate serves as an oxidizer in this reaction. If you would like to know the ratios I use, please check the description below. Now it's time for the aluminum powder. The aluminum powder is the fuel in this reaction. And lastly, the barium sulfate. This helps regulate and stabilize the reaction. Now it's time to mix everything. Make sure you mix it thoroughly. After it's fully mixed, it's time to add it into the straw. My trick for measuring the perfect amount is to add the igniter onto the scale, tear it to zero, and then add the material. This way, you know what you've added. I shoot for a little bit less than one gram. My previous test has shown that if you add too much ignition powder, the igniter explodes and doesn't burn controllably. The final step is to add a little piece of paper towel to prevent the powder from falling out. Try not to ram it in or else this can happen. And here's what the final product should look like. A small, controllable burn. Here's a test I did with the segment of the fuel. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like. And if you would like to support, you can buy me a cup of coffee. Any support's helpful. Thank you.